Well, for the past several years, the Trombone Shorty Foundation in New Orleans has traveled to Havana as part of a cultural exchange. The young students from both countries share musicianship and make their own history. Chris Leach has the story. When you come here, you're just immediately hit with the similarities, with, with New Orleans especially. Havana is some 670 miles across the Gulf of Mexico from the Crescent City and in some ways very different. However, there is a shared musical history. Because so much of the music here and so much of the music and culture in New Orleans is informed by Africa through the Caribbean, specifically Cuba. To that end, a celebratory partnership of continuing that connection is being explored by the students of the Trombone Shorty Foundation and the Guillermo Tomas Conservatory sprung up as a binational means of young musicians sharing their music. Yeah, you know, the Mardi Gras Indian second line music that we play, we may accent the beat on a different uh, beat, but they have the salsa music, and if you take some of that out of there and play it, you can hear some second line, and you can hear the, the, the cousins, you know, they're like cousins rhythmically. The trip to Havana includes an instrument giveaway for some of the conservatory students, but it's not all studying tunes. Many New Orleans musicians traveled, performed, and shared with all of the students as well. I think the exchange is a perfect word because they're giving me something I want to give them something and eventually we make something beautiful. Although we may be in different parts of the world, we still have similar musicians, still similar sounds, similar knowledge and music.